Well, as you can see, we've got a suitably cinematic background here. We're at the BAFTA headquarters in Piccadilly, London. And we're taking a look at the Canon EOS 550D. Now, obviously what we're looking at here is a digital SLR, but there's a very strong focus on video recording with this camera, hence our cinema surroundings right now. Now, to look at the still photography aspects, what we've got in our hands is an 18 megapixel still camera. Now, the EOS 550D really runs closely in competition with Canon's slightly higher spec 7D and it outpaces the 500D, which is 15 megapixels. Now, both the 500D and the 550D are capable of full 1080p video recording. Now, the key difference is this model I've got, the 550D, can do 1080p at 30 frames per second. It can also do 720p at 60 frames per second. Now, that's higher spec than the earlier 500D model. Now, what you're looking at here is a camera which it runs very close to the top end of the consumer digital SLR market. As well, as well as the 18 megapixel resolution, which will let you take great big prints, you can blow things up to uh, poster size, you've also got some very interesting metering and bracketing options. For example, you can change the exposure settings to plus or minus five, uh, five measurements. Now, that's quite unusual for a consumer entry-level camera, but the 550D is actually priced into that sort of category. We're looking at a camera which, for the body only, is £799. Throw in the 18-55mm IS lens kit, you're looking at £899 for a launch price. And this will be available before the end of February. We can expect that price to fall later in the year, but it's a quite a competitively priced uh, camera for certainly the starting uh, pricing arrangements. Now what you've got on this, for example, to help you take easy movies, there's a dedicated video recording button. You can select on the dial to take you straight to movie mode, but if you're photographing stills and you suddenly want to take that movie, press the button, which is just next to the viewfinder, and all of a sudden you'll be taking a video instantly. Now, it's got uh, a viewfinder with a 95% uh, range, so it crops it ever so slightly. That'll uh, put it in a different category to the 7D, which has a 100% viewfinder crop. Now, looking at the back of the camera, what you'll find is a 3-inch LCD screen. Now, the, the format is a 3 to 2 ratio. This makes for a large, bright screen. It's very easy to cycle through the menu system. And better yet, it's great for viewing your movies on as well as viewing your still photos on afterwards. You've got a very clear menu system with additional menu options for the video functions. So you can change the frame rate. For example, if you change from 1080p at 30 frames per second, you can take it down to 720p at 60 frames per second. That will make for smoother video photography, although at a slightly reduced resolution. Now, this camera is going to be available before the end of February. As I say again, the prices are £799. That's for the body kit alone. If you want the 18 to 55 millimeter lens kit, which is an image stabilizing lens kit, the price goes up to £899. Now, keep checking on at which.co.uk where you can find full reviews of digital SLRs as well as digital compact cameras.